So now we're going to take a look at the units for magnetic forces, particularly on moving charges. So we start with the equation that we've already defined, and that's F equals QVB sine theta. So I want to take a look at what all of these quantities are. So F stands for force, Q stands for charge, V stands for velocity, the B stands for B field, or our magnetic field, and the theta is the angle. Now we can take these quantities and start looking at the units for these things. Some of these units we already know very well. For example, force has units of newtons, charge has units of coulombs, and velocity is going to be meters per second. We don't know B field yet, so let's hold on for just a minute and go over to our angle. Now our angle can be expressed in either degrees or radians, but once I take the sine of the angle, there's no units on it anymore. So that leaves us now just with our B field. And it turns out the standard unit for B field in the metric system is going to be the Tesla, or just a T for short. To understand a little bit more about the Tesla, let's look at this equation in its entirety. So I know that Newton's over on the left-hand side has to be equal to the product of Coulomb's times meters per second time a Tesla. I can rearrange this equation to solve for Tesla, and I would get that I've got a Newton divided by Coulomb meter per second. Now doing just a little bit of algebra, because having a fraction on the bottom of a fraction is sort of awkward, we could rearrange this to see that a Tesla must be equal to a Newton times a second divided by a Coulomb meter. This is one way to express what a Tesla is equal to in terms of the other more familiar units. It's not the only one we're going to see, but we got to look at some other equations first. So this wraps up the units for that magnetic force for our first equation on moving charges.